Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. As you can see, this is a little bit different uh, video than what we usually have. Um, and uh, I'm doing this in a whole kind of different fashion, so, so kind of bear with me, I'm not used to doing it quite this way. So I'm out here in the, uh, basically in my sort of backyard. Uh, for those of you who have watched some of my videos before, you'll know that's not saying much. You can of course hear the cars going by and everything like that. Um, I would do this out in the woods, but I don't really have any place to go, so uh, I've got a little bit of space here. I'll go ahead and do this here, but uh, as you can see in the uh, description, this is the Show Us Your Steak Challenge, and uh, we'll get into that a little bit more um, here as we go, but uh, you can, you'll get to see me here struggling to make a fire a little bit. Um, we'll get some stuff going, and uh, we'll kind of get into talking a little bit more about what this video is and what the... Uh, what the challenge is about and everything. So uh, I'll keep on doing this stuff and uh, you know I'll be back with you here in a little bit. This isn't quite as uh, as uh, rustic as the uh, the other guys do, um, but uh, I'm not nearly as skilled as they are with uh, this stuff. So I use I use this other stuff to kind of make it a little easier for me to do this. That and on top of it, everything we've got is wet. Um, there is nothing that I've got around here that, that isn't wet. Uh, we just got out of the, uh, the big uh, kind of ice storm that we had the other day, and then we got dumped on snow, and now yesterday and today it just all melted, and so everything's completely soaking wet. Uh, so. Well, after a lot of fighting with it, <laughs> finally got the uh, fire going. You can probably hear it sizzling and popping. Everything is still, even, even though some of this was actually a little bit dry, it's still, uh, you know, still a lot of it is still fairly wet. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, getting some of this, some of the food ready here. Um, 
So what I did is uh, I brought a simple cutting board, um, just a little like, I don't know, Teflon or whatever it is. Uh, I've got uh, one of my knives here. This happens to be the Gerber one, one of the ones from, uh, from the TAC series. Of course, there's the flint and stuff. But I have uh, part of a, a uh, pepper here and uh, I've got a clove of, uh, this is um, elephant garlic. And then I've got a, uh, a pearl onion here as well. I've got uh, just a simple little camping pan, fold, foldable handle and stuff. But uh, I'll be cooking everything in this because of the way I'm doing it. And uh, sorry for the smoke there. It's coming up at me too. I can't do anything about it. Everywhere I move, it follows me. But uh, yeah, so, and then uh, we've got uh, steak I had gotten here before. Um, a nice T-bone right there. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get this stuff cut up. While I'm doing this, I'll kind of talk about um, kind of what this is about, this, this uh, show us your steak challenge. And uh, really this, this is uh, about men, men's mental health. Um, now, this is um, based on men's mental health, uh, not that women don't have issues as well, but uh, it's kind of focused on men because of the fact that, well, frankly, us guys, we really don't know how to talk, um, work out our problems and, and things like that where uh, women tend to be a little more able to do that so uh, they have less problems with, uh, with dealing with things than we do. Um, and, that's kind of re and that's really reflected in the fact that, uh, that uh, and I believe this is a global number if I remember correctly, but uh, men are three times more likely to commit suicide than women are and I uh, believe uh, of course that's a huge part of that is because men bottle things up we think it's tend to think it's weak to share and to um, say you know hey we're having problems or whatever and uh, you know it's always been kind of looked down upon for men uh, for us to, you know, say anything about things like that and be open about things like that. We're supposed to be strong, silent types. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's, that's honestly, it's just not good for us. Um, this is a fairly important topic for me because I have dealt with mental health issues myself. Um, and I, of course, know various people who have also dealt with mental health issues. I have had uh, two different kinds of things kind of happen with me. Um, I've been through bouts of depression um, at one point uh, from, well, from the time that I was a kid all the way up through my adulthood life up until a handful of years ago I was uh, dealing with it. I had seen uh, therapists and stuff uh, a little bit, but not specifically about that. Um, just trying to understand how to deal with things. And, uh, but I only did that a little bit, and it wasn't really at the times when things like that were actually bothering me. So it didn't help me as much as it could have during the t my times of need. And, uh, anyhow. I had gotten to a point um, a couple of different times where, you know, I was going to join the statistic and, uh, you know, I never did it, obviously, never tried, because, um, I mean, you, you do tend to feel helpless and hopeless and, uh, and everything. So uh, fortunately, um, the last the last kind of bout that I went through, I was able to uh, 
kind of realize what was going on and now I'm able to kind of look at it and you know kind of be like oh wait a minute this is what happens and and understand what was going on and and things like that and so it made it much easier on me uh, now because I can kind of recognize the signs and and everything and even still recognizing the signs doesn't always mean that you can deal with it uh, so don't assume that just because you know what it is or what to look for that it means that you don't have to worry about it anymore um, because you know there's still a lot of a lot of kind of uncertainty or inability to deal with things even if you understand what it is doesn't mean that you, that we're naturally going to be able to I mean I've still had problems here and there but uh, I've been lucky enough so far that uh, that I've been able to uh, take care of it myself I do know that there's help out there uh, if I need it though uh, another another thing was of course there's been an issue I had problem with my leg here years ago I was in a serious accident almost lost my leg basically and uh, if things would have happened a little differently I wouldn't have just lost that leg I might have lost my other one my other leg and my life and so uh, you know things could have turned out much worse and uh, of course there's that moment at least I only had one really fortunately um, where you kind of look at things and are like, oh my God, what happened? My life is over. And uh, I let it happen. Instead of fighting it, I accepted it. And it uh, kind of overtook me for just a little bit of time, honestly. It was, only, it was only a few minutes, really, where I was fighting with it. 20 minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. And uh, then that was it. And then I, I fortunately was able to, or am able to not have to deal with it any further. But uh, after that, I had, I ended up having um, basically small bouts of PTSD. Um, I remember I was at work, I was on light duty after the accident, and I was sitting there, and I basically blacked out, and I was somewhere else. Um, completely, kind of, almost, I won't say hallucinating, but went into like a dream light state. Didn't know where I was, I don't remember much about what happened, but I wasn't at work anymore. And uh, a couple minutes later, I came out of it. And uh, felt or realized where I was and everything and everything was kind of back to normal uh, for me so it happened a few times over the course of a few months after the accident or after I got back to work more so it didn't happen when I was at home it happened at work so there must have been like triggers and stuff just like uh, with my, most PTSD types of scenarios you know loud noises Flashes, bangs, whatever. Um, those things can cause events that just make your mind go somewhere where, you know, that, that isn't real. And, uh, you know, it's not, it's not the greatest feeling, you know. But, uh, so anyhow, you know, I, I, uh, did talk to people fortunately enough and was able to would deal with these situations and what was going on with me uh, the, a few times as well as learning kind of how to deal with it myself so I got very lucky whereas many guys don't have that they may not have that opportunity or that even that option at all they may not have somebody nearby that they think they can talk to um, I mean of course again we're kind of men can in a sense be I mean we can be ridiculed for the idea be 
because of talking and saying that, you know, we may need help with something just for the fact that, you know, it makes us look weak in the eyes of others. And uh, if you are one of those other people, understand that's not, that's not a weakness. If somebody's asking for help, that's not weakness. That's strength. Because, you know, asking for help takes a lot more for a person to do. It takes a lot more integrity. It takes a lot more mental strength and whatnot to do than to just be quiet and, and let everything happen. It's easy to let everything slide by and not say anything and not do anything. It's very hard to, uh, to get up and stand up and say, hey, I need help. Or if you think somebody needs help, don't be afraid to say something to them. Uh, somebody's not acting right. Your friends, your family, your, uh, your father, your brother, your uncle, your grandfather. You see something going on that isn't, isn't right for them. Uh, you, know, you, know, you know your friends, you know your family. And uh, if you see something's not right, say something. Ask them if they need hand. You know, ask them if they have anything they want to talk about. Ask them what's going on in their life. Just create a conversation. Not even one that's trying to probe into what the overall issue is. Because that can come with a regular natural conversation. Just have a conversation with them. And a lot of times that can make the world a difference. All right, well, I'm almost done cutting up this stuff. And it's going to take a while for these, for this to kind of get down to where I want it to in terms of like coals and stuff like that. So uh, we'll end up flipping ahead here. guys know somebody or are somebody that um, is dealing with uh, mental health issues there's going to be some links down there in the description below all right guys well I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up but uh, my name's Cougar of course this is the world of me and uh, this is the show us your steak challenge um, generally we're supposed to call out two or three people to do the show us your steak challenge. I don't have anybody specific really to call out. What I am going to do is call out any of you guys that are YouTubers that see this. That's how I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out to uh, show us your steak. So any of my viewers that see this, I'm calling you out. If uh, even if you don't do this, you can sit there and do it on uh, on Twitter and just do a simple shout out, cook a steak on the on the grill or whatever like you normally would, but just make the shout out and raise awareness. Um, it doesn't take any more than that to bring things to the forefront and uh, just help things get better. So, but uh, yeah, that'll that'll do it for me today, guys. Um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, but, uh, I'd like to wish all of you guys good mental health and everybody else. I'd like to wish you all a good day. 
and I will see you later. Bye.